Hello and welcome to Michigan Hobby Hunter. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I'm gonna round over the edges on this box using nothing but a block plane. Enjoy. So we're gonna come at it. I'm not deep enough yet. You always wanna start shallow. Yep, that feels good. So you just come around here. And I'm going at it like I'm putting a chamfer on it until I get it to where I want it. Now, you might want to mark this, but I have a visible line here. So, you but if you don't have a visible line there, you may want to mark that. But I'm trying to keep a 45 degree angle. So now we got all our sides to match up. Got a little tear out there. I might go at that the other way. But all our corners match up. We're about halfway down the line. I'm going to actually take it to halfway. So I'm going to go at this again off camera. And I will be back with you. So now that I got the chamfer all even, um, with the angles roughly at a 45, we're going to start smoothing the transition over to the lid. So let's go ahead and uh, start just going at it slowly, real fine angle. So I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to round that over. Look at that. That's nice. That's getting there. I'm gonna hit the bottom again. So, as you can see, we got a little round going on there. It's not going down to the bottom, but it will about go to the where the boards join. This is a thick top. I want to carve into this. So. We got a little round over going to a flat side. So let's go ahead and do the rest of these sides. And I'll check back with you when we're on to the next step. What's going to be final smoothing of it. So you may get some chip out on the end here. You're supposed to come out of the other side. I wasn't thinking. I was too busy working. You want to come at it with the back side there. doing your end grain on the other side right here you want to come at it going in it's a good thing I uh, messed up because I uh, probably wouldn't have told you about that Okay, my friends, we have our round over done. So you can go at this two different ways. One being you grab your sandpaper and you smooth out all your lines. Or two, you make a really, really shallow cut and you go over your lines over and over and over again, making it more and more shallow each time.
Okay, so now that we have our round over done here, a round over with the second smoothing, we're gonna lower the blade even a little bit more. She's barely doing anything. We're gonna go after it one more time, but with this time we're gonna go with a little I'm gonna go with a little more of a rotation with an angled cut. And I'm barely getting anything. That's looking really good, guys. And grain, this worked really well to just go like that, follow the curve. Well, my friends, this concludes today's video, putting a round over on a box with nothing but a hand plane. If you guys like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell if you want to see more of my content. I'm all over the place with content on this channel. It's all about my hobbies. I have a lot of hobbies. You guys have a very blessed day. Thank you for watching Michigan Hobby Hunter. Peace.